on the WesternUnion.com VIP Lounge. DC right here, live in the WesternUnion.com VIP Lounge. We're about to get this started. In the building right now, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ray Shremmerd. <laughs> Keep that going. <laughs> oh. hey. Hey. They want that extended applause. What's happening, people, man? I'm sure, as you all know, we are Ray Shermer, and everything about to go the exact opposite direction y'all thought it was. What's up with y'all, man? Shrimp Life 2 dropped today. Hope y'all got it. You know what I'm saying? Go get that! Kodak Black, Juicy J, Gucci Mane, and Lil Jon featured on the album Shrimp Life 2 out now. Eardrum Records. All right. So that was a great interview, guys. Appreciate y'all for coming. That was... Okay. All right, you guys. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Slim Jimmy, Sway Lee in the building right now. Ray Shrimmer, what's going on with y'all, man? It's been a, it's been a nice little road trip. I see y'all been going around and visiting a whole bunch of places. Where y'all been so far? Everywhere. Everywhere. Well, yeah, we've been on tour since like two years ago. So shit. <laughs> Wait, can we cuss on this? No. Uh, not I necessarily. Do it, but you already no, did no, it. No, so. no. I wouldn't do it. Hey, stay in school. Do not cut. That's what we did. We graduated. Like I we've been on tour, yeah, forever. Like we've been to Australia. You know what I'm saying? We've been to New Zealand. We've been to Europe. How's Australia? So lit. It's like one of the best countries like that I've been to my whole my whole run, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. That's dope. All right. So now y'all here in the uh, San Francisco Bay Area at 106 KMEL. And I just want to let y'all know, I, if you don't know already, which, you know, you've been on the Summer Jam out here, you've seen that. The Bay absolutely loves y'all. Like, I cannot get through a night at the club without playing several of y'all records, you know what you I mean? But, Appreciate that. Shout out to the Bay. How do y'all feel about about the love that you've gotten so far just here and I mean all over the world? I love the Bay. I love the Bay. I think the Bay is awesome. Man, I remember the first time I came down here. I really ain't know like, you know, the Bay got its own scene. So, right. you know what I'm saying? I heard, I found out about Kamaya when I was down here. So yeah. I Kamaya, I really like her music. I like the Bay Area sound. I like the whole world cuz they show us a lot of love. I ain't never seen that much stuff being from Mississippi, you know what I'm saying? We moved around a little bit. Cause my mom was in the army, you know right. what I'm saying? So we was born in California out here and we moved and we really grew up in Mississippi, so just seeing us getting love in different countries, different nations, different cultures of people, even here, different groups of people, you know what I'm saying? It's great. How much time? I, mean, I got a bay in the bay, you know what I'm saying? Oh. You want to say her name or? She just bad, you know that? <laughs> she Every bae. girl in the bay. So, um, right, let's get it. Oh, see? That's broke. It's always quiet, bro. I'm wondering why it's that. quiet. I got my right. headphones in. So check it. <laughs> y'all from Mississippi or y'all spent time in Mississippi? How long did you actually live there? Um, we lived in Mississippi. I, I moved there in my seventh grade year. Six years. And I stayed there until I graduated high school, dropped out of college, and you know, really till I popped off as a rapper. Okay. That's what's up. My my folks from down there. That's why I asked. Like, uh, spent a good amount of time in Mississippi coming up. Which part? Brookhaven, Monticello, oh, Suntag. Yeah. I don't Sorry. know all them places because like it's a lot. Of, <laughs> I know Brookhaven. Yeah, it's know a lot Brookhaven. of real yeah. country places in Mississippi. We from Tupelo. It's like kind of like a, they all like the same city. They say Tupelo is like kind of like a bigger city in Mississippi, but it's really like the same because Jackson's yeah. like the big city. But even if you go there, it look like Tupelo. A lot of grass. You know what I'm saying? Buildings, not the big buildings like regular <laughs> buildings. <laughs> Shrimp life. All right, that's what's up. Shrimp life two out today, but I actually read this morning that like y'all aren't gonna do any more Shrimp Life albums after. Shrimp Life too. Like, is there? What's the reason it's behind like, that? Like, um, there's probably gonna be more projects, but it's not gonna be necessarily ne like titled. I mean, Shrimp yeah, Life name that. three. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It might be like something else. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, if, when you keep doing sequels, it's just like movies. No, it's just like we created. You know what I'm saying? We just we still create. You know what I'm saying? That's like well, I'm gonna give the you first two projects. I'm gonna give you know my saying? my opinion in a little second thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, when I'm, you know what I'm saying? Creating Shrimp Life. You know what I'm saying? That's a certain wave. You know what I'm saying? Then you're gonna keep making more. You know what I'm saying? Like those songs, those hooks. You know what I'm saying? That's shrimp shit stuff. <laughs> okay, so so I didn't think we should do another Shrimp Life because Shrimp Life 1 was a hit, Shrimp Life 2 was a hit, 
And now we're we growing, we're changing, and now it's time for us to move on to something else. You know what I'm saying? We still race shrimmer. Everything don't got to be shrimp. I ain't got on no shrimp pants. I ain't wearing shrimp shoes. You, you know could, I mean? though. You know hey, what I mean? Like We want to we wanna show y'all. You definitely could. We like, show that's not what Hold on. Let me, I ain't finished. We want to show, <laughs> hey, show y'all a different perspective of life that we have. Like, shrimp life is like our fun perspective on life. So now we're going to give y'all something different. So shrimp life, too, is how awesome it can be. And then whatever we do after that is how awesome that can be. You know right. what I'm saying? We just look at things for positive, so everything going to be positive. We're probably going to make an album about big butts. That's a great topic for an album. I'm not mad at that you at know, all, actually. Hey, we, we might can say anything. You never know. Shrimp Life 2. Out now. Go get it. All right, that's what's up. Uh, Y'all got artists now, you know what I mean, which is a big deal. Uh, tell us about, like, why you decided that you were going to go out and kind of be, you know, like, not only run your own label, be, you know, producers and artists, but, you know, grab other fools and kind of take them around as well. Man, these is my homies. We've been rapping. We used to be a, a three-man group, you know what I'm saying? So our first artist. Bobo Sway. Our first artist is Bobo Sway. And uh, he's featured on the album, too, on Over Here. Right. But you know what I'm saying? He got his own projects already done. It's real nice. We're going to take him on tour, get his buzz up. But, man, Shrimp Life Crew is going to be awesome. We got Bobo Sway, Impact, and Riff three times. And really, the reason we did that is, like, we want to put Mississippi on the map in a big way. Just like how you have Atlanta, Georgia. You had Gucci Mane bringing out all these other artists and letting people understand where Atlanta is. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I want to bring out all these other artists out of Mississippi and let y'all understand what, where we from, where Tupelo is. You know what I'm saying? And that'd be tight, because really the only rappers I could think of out of Mississippi are what, like Crit, yep. uh, David, David and y'all. So yep. Soldier Boy. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. So Soldier, Soldier Boy was born in, in, in Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Shrim Life. Shrim Life 2 out now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's what's up. As far as the production goes, because y'all have been, you know, dipping into that as of late, um, you know, had the credit on the Y'all Say joint, you know what I mean, of course, which is a big deal, right? Yeah. Did y'all actually, like, work with her in the studio, or how did that happen? Did y'all, like, connect with somebody else, or like, did you just wake up one morning and they was like, yo, y'all on the Beyonce joint? What's up? Like, um, Mike Will, you know what I'm saying? We, we went to the studio. We go to the studio, like, every day, you know what I'm saying? So Mike Will had loaded up that beat, that formation beat. I don't remember what it was called. It was just like banging, super loud, you know what I'm saying? He, he turned on a couple beats, but he turned that one on. I'm like, hold up, stop right there, you know what I'm saying? We got to load that up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We get first dibs on the Mike Will beats, you know what I'm saying? So we loaded that joint up in the studio, started freestyling on it, you know what I'm saying? We loaded, we freestyled like nine times over it, you know what I'm saying? But I had that one flow. I had that one flow. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay, ladies, now let's get in formation. Right. But I was saying, I said like a hundred lines, you know what I'm saying? That's just one of the lines, you know what I'm saying? And it just stuck. Like another line, I might have said, that's your, but you know that we caking. You know what I'm saying? I was just freestyling, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Just line for line, you know what I'm saying? So forgot about, I'm thinking that's just another session, you know what I'm saying? When, I'm, when we did that, I'm thinking that's just another session. So like a couple months later, you know what I'm saying? Got a call, yo, Beyonce want to use the record, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hold up, Mike Will calling me, Mike, Mike Will telling me this. I'm like, say what? He said, Beyonce want to use the record. I'm just like, hold up, bro. Shh, green light it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, and it was a hit from there. All right, that's tight. It's crazy. As far as the production that you guys are doing, you know. Oh, yeah, um, Pussy Print. Okay, so what's up with that? I mean, not, I mean and, and not just that, but just across the board, like what you want to do and what's already popping right now. You know what I'm saying? Production-wise, I'm just going to keep... I've been making beats, you know what I'm saying? I got, like, a, a laptop at the crib with, like, a thousand beats on it, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, like, um, No Type was my first production, you know what I'm saying? Big production I did, and then Pussy Print, Kanye, Gucci Man, just did that junk, you know what I'm saying? So, I got some more stuff, you know what I'm saying? But that's just, we just getting started, you know what I'm saying, basically. All right. Yo, they saying I'm the reincarnate, you know, I'm like, I got the soul of Uncle Luke back in the day. Yeah. I'm coming through, I'm turning everything up. I'm, you know what I'm saying? We, we produce. I'm a DJ and a rapper. Ain't nobody know that. I ain't want to come out on the music like, oh, I'm a DJ, because ain't nobody going to believe nobody, no rapper, no fire DJ, too. But if you bring me in your club, the roof really going to be on fire. I don't know that. I've seen a couple, like, I've seen a couple hip-hop cats, you know what I mean, that could come hey, out and, and rock on the on the uh, yeah, turntables. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? We race streamers, so I'm not comparing myself <laughs> to nobody else. I'm saying us coming out as, like, new artists. Don't nobody know me? So, you know what I'm saying? I done went. I've been out here DJing, having a good time. So now I'm about to do this Man Decent show with Diplo. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's big. Let me see. Chicago, I, we I got, a, got a couple big gigs. Y'all come out and see Ray Shrimmer, Uncle Jim, about to be DJing, having y'all twerking and stuff. Shrimp Life. Yeah, so wait, wait. Why you change your, why you change your name for, for the DJ and the other, the other work? Because Slim Jim, ratchet, like y'all think. Look, I'm a rapper. I'm from Mississippi. Slim Jimmy, I'm ratchet. Uncle Jim, I'm a DJ. 
Are you less ratchet of a DJ though? Like, yo, because you know yeah, what? I was about to be like, yo, it seemed like it'd be you know just why? slappers Look, the whole night. I'm telling you, like, when I'm in the club and I'm Slim Jimmy, then I'm looking around the club. Sure. Like, all, all, if, if you're under 18, keep your ears closed. All right, look. Look, I'm in the club. I'm pointing around. This is real life now. We like this. Y'all y'all play Mortal Kombat? Y'all not? <laughs> get over here. Y'all, like, she real deal. It for like, it's real deal like that. With four of them, no. I'm like this. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm pointing all the girls like this. <laughs> get over here. <laughs> and it's going down. That's Slim Jimmy right there. Slim Jim, get it cracking. All right. So, DJing, production, artists. You're running your label, grabbing folks to kind of do that. Like, is there anything else? Like, is there anything else that y'all really want to do that you're not doing? Obviously, Shrimp Life Jeans is off the table because you no, just told no, me. No, no, no. We got our own, got we got our own merch we're working on. Draws. We're working on merch. Like everything. Hey, we, we about to start building ways for us to all go to the moon, huh? Shrimp Life. Oh, my God. Shrimp Life 2 out now. <laughs> Nah, but we, we do got more big things coming, Trim man. Life we, spaceships coming soon. We moving to TV. We're going to be on TV. We're trying to get our Will Smith on. All right. Um, you, shoot. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Yeah, then I'm a couple years from now, many years, when all of us are much older and have children of our own, I'm running for president. I'm the next Obama. Shroom Stop life. it. Stop Let's it. Let's get it. Stop it. Anything is possible. Believe me. <laughs> Anything is possible. I'll give you that. But uh, Okay, cool. Maybe, uh, all right. Uh, when we got 40. <laughs> my first, I can't you, tell you how my first move is. You can't run for president when you're 40. No, but you can run when you're 35. Oh, wait. I'm okay, a US we'll talk about that later. I thought you just had to be old. All right, so check this, <laughs> check this out. We got some actual uh, questions from the audience, so let me get a couple of these in. Uh, they want to know, what's the craziest thing you've done? I don't is, know. Is 2X rated for this room? Okay, well, it's we a fam went to this family college. program. What? We did a lot of crazy stuff. Like, okay. it just depends on what, what category you talking about. You know? What I mean? <laughs> are you gonna look it up right now? I'm about, I'm about to show oh, y'all now. Okay. I'm, I y'all think, are about to learn. I think I'm right now. Slim Jimmy's gonna tell you how old you need to be. To how old you gotta be to run for president? It's okay. like 35. Now nah, look, this is how y'all gonna know I graduated. Or 40 some shit. Some you gotta be old. <laughs> this is how y'all. This how. This is how y'all know. Gotta be old, bro. It's good to graduate high school. I googled it because okay. Google know everything. And. Spill the hey, beans. It's like 35 in letters. 35. T-H-I-R-T-Y-5. Thank you. Shrimp Life 2. <laughs> in letters. So for the hard of hearing, 35. So what? I'm, I'm something now in like 15, 16 years. Vote for me. All right. You can get Jim a vote. You can get a vote. What's the hardest thing y'all have gone through and how did you get over it? Uh, uh, hardest thing, getting kicked out the house. You know what I'm saying? You just, you got to just go. Face the world, you just gotta go, you know what I'm saying? Bird gotta lead a nest, you know what I'm saying? You get a job and you just, we got a job and we put our money together and that's how we just overcame that, I guess. What was your first job? I worked at McDonald's. Word? What? Did y'all both work Flipping there? Flipping them you, burgers, cashier. My first job was ties. We both did work at McDonald's, like, okay. but, but see, I'm a little older, so I started working first. So when I was working at this, I was working at a grocery store, then we went to a restaurant. Grocery stores are better than restaurants, by the way. So yeah, well, I used to have a hot top fade, and I used, <laughs> I used to have a hat just like this from McDonald's. And I used to have a hot top fade coming out the top. I yeah. was so clean. The OG kid, so fresh, bro. That's funny. Uh, well, my first job was at a restaurant too. FYI, that was kind of crazy. That's the jug for real. Yeah, That's it, the it, easy it money, cool first money. Y'all from Mississippi though? I was expecting like Crystal or like or like Waffle House. <laughs> Man, Olive Garden too. Okay. Olive Garden. Right on. All right. So uh, one of the ladies in the building wants to know how many tattoos you have each. Swali. I got about 30, you know what I'm saying, on my leg. I got some on my legs and on my stomach. Man, I probably got about 10 tattoos. <laughs> now, look, they hurt. I don't like them. <laughs> um, I like doing other things, you know, shrimp life. I got enough that I like. I'm getting tatted up tomorrow. Actually, tonight. Tec in the Bay or you brought your own tattoo artist? No, nah, in L.A. I'm going to okay. fly right back to L.A. Hold on, you know hold on. If y'all looking for me, you can catch me on Grand Theft Auto tonight. Let's go. Shrimp Life 2 out now. What's your gamer tag? My great my gamer tag is Big Jim. I don't really do missions. I just <laughs> run around and shoot. Terrorize. Terrorize. I, do missions. <laughs> I terrorize the whole lobby. Let's go purge. We're gonna have the purge online Grand Theft Auto tonight. Log in. Big Jim, follow me. All right, I've got a couple of these, and they want to know how y'all picked Ray Shrimmer. I think I have an idea, but Ray Shrimmer, you know. Like um, 
when we was in Tupelo, you know what I'm saying, we knew the ear drummers like before, the ear drummers, they're producers in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, they work with Mike Will. They made that uh, No Lie, Wild Back Drake's, you know, that Drake and uh, right. 2 Chains No Lie, that Tupac's Back, you know what I'm saying, that uh, bands that make her dance. And these like them first bangers that came from ear drummers camp, you know what I'm saying, they had the world tuned in. And we knew them because our DJ in Tupelo was cousins with the ear drummers, you know what right. I'm saying? But this is before they blew up, so they like grinding themselves, you know, trying to get a check. And they was like, they seen us doing what we was doing in, in Tupelo, <laughs> and they was like, yo, y'all go hard, y'all go hard. Y'all come um, come work with us in Atlanta, but we didn't have no money, so we finally got some money. We moved to Atlanta, we started working with the ear drummers, you know what I'm saying? They gave us some hard beats, you know what I'm saying? We made No Flex on, like, all them Shrim Life One songs, you know what I'm saying? They gave us our big break, so basically we paid homage to them by just turning ear drummers backwards, you know what I'm saying, making it Ray Shrimmer, you know what I'm saying? All right, that's what's up. Anybody else got any questions in the bottom before we get out of here? No? You want to let them know what's going on with the album? The album's out right now? I got I got one more last announcement. What happened? I'm hearing, y'all going to find this out a couple months from now, but I'm hearing word on the street is that I'm going to be on the maximum top 100 most attractive men on the planet. <laughs> And I'm very, and I, and I just want to say it's an honor. And Shrimp Life Two is out now. Go get it. Bow. Is that real or no? It's real in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Shrimp in the building. Shrimp Life Two out right now. Appreciate y'all for coming through, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Stay in school. Don't do Shrimp drugs. Love. We don't do drugs. Shrimp Life. I'm high off life.